Why, hello there. It is I, the Cheesy Cat, and we are back with another episode in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Okay, um, you may be wondering why we're all the way back at Dueling Peak Stable. Well, and why I'm so low on health. But anyways, the main reason is I wanted to try something. And while I was on my adventure to collecting rupees and wood for my house, which you guys already know about, I got a crazy idea about this shrine. Now, obviously, this may have been done before me. And that's probably how you get to... Oh, no, I'm not going to make it. Okay, I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> I'm also low on health because I jumped from a high place trying to land on my horse, but that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So, anyways... Oh, I got a better idea. This side over here might be better for that. Sucks how you walk slower in water, but that's... Run slower, but that's pretty much how... It works in Breath of the... I mean, in real life, too, so... Gotta understand them physics. See here. There we go. As you can see, I have a bunch of vicious sickles. Okay, I think we can make it from right here. Yeah, look at that. Wow. I can't believe I didn't figure that out way earlier in the game. Like, even when I came here to the stable, I mean, that should have been, like, the easiest thing. But anyways, we have completed our little tiny quest of getting rupees and our wood quest. Yeah, I have, um, 51, so that's enough things of wood. You need 50, um, and 3,000 rupees, which we have a lot. <laughs> I made a little detour trip, which, which took about an hour. Because you have to, like, go all the way out of your way. And I didn't activate any of the towers either. So, yeah. That was l a fast load. I like that. Anyways, what's happening here? To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Had the Hamar. In the name of God Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. The Water Guides. Well, this... This is a simple one. I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing this. Ho oh, ho. Gotta use those. Now, if you didn't know, you can actually throw some of those on the side of a waterfall and it will protrude outward. The same way it does for most other waters. So we're gonna go up here and see what we got. There's no treasure chest. I could have sworn there was a treasure chest over there. No, it's over here. There you go. It better not be a weapon. Please don't be a weapon. Please be something I am able to get. Anyways, to get up there, you're going to want to, like, do sideways kind of things. Because you can climb up these. There you go. And then one more. Easy enough. It's like stairs, right? What is it? It is a purple rupee. I'll take that. Oh, well, now you guys can see how many rupees I have. I was going to save it as a tiny little secret, but nope. 4,140. How did I get so many in an hour? Well, oh, that's not right at all. There we go. Let's stop it. Oh, God. Well, that's not good. I don't remember how to do this. Hold on. Let's see. Let's, let's try that. Okay. And then do this. Come on. Let me. There you go. And then it should fall. Right. It should. Oh. Oh. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't fast enough. 
but now it's rolling up. Okay. Let's try here. That should do it. Oh, perfect. And that's how you clear this try. Just go right here and the door will open. There you go. Camera didn't have to do much work there. And... Let's examine that. Your resourcefulness from overcoming this trial speaks to promise of hero. Name of Guide Asylia bestow upon you a spirit orb. Symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of the shrine, blah blah blah, made a And once you're done with the shrine, all the ugly spikes are gone. Which is handy because now we can teleport to this stable. Much more easier than trying to ride here. Good thing I figured that out now. Silly me. That guy at the stable said we can take those apples if we want them. Well, I'm taking them already, so... Let me be. Hey, hey you. Don't hey me. Anyways, I'll see you guys back at... Hey Tenno Village. Because we got a ways to go. Hold on a second. White here. Look at this. Can't believe if I missed this previously. Gonna blow that up. Oh, a treasure chest. Whatever may it be, please don't be a weapon. And it's amber. I'll take that. That's a very subtle way of mining. Well, back to our trek to Heiteno Village. Alrighty, we're back. And you know exactly what we're doing, guys. So, that was quite the adventure I had there. I went quite a ways out of my way to get to this um, spot way in the north that gives us lots of money. Net profit is like a million. No. <laughs> But anyways, we're going to go to this house. And we're going to wait by the fire until morning. I probably should have waited until noon, but whatever. Nope, they're here. Works for me. Yes, I'll pay your price of 30 bundles of... Oh, I grabbed 50. Well, never mind. <laughs> All I needed to see, good faith would. You're obviously serious about this, and uh, now I know it. So as promised, I'll sell you this old house for the low price of 3,000 rupees. Once you got the money co together, come grab me. I been grabbed that money. Hi, did you get the 300 rupees together? I sure did. You're really gonna give me 3,000? Oh, I keep saying 300. Like with three zeros? You aren't just posturing? I'll shell out. No way, talk about studly. I'll just take that off your hands. Thanks for the sweet investment. Spending so much money on anything at your age. It's just so studly. There's a weapon mount in there that never sold. Consider it a housewarming gift. Hope you get some use out of it. So next job time, baby. What did I have line up again? Oh yeah, that's what's next. I was going to send Hudson up Akala way to clear some land. Well, this is our house now, and with the house, we get a free weapon display. Boom. And now I have a free slot in my inventory for another weapon. Pretty awesome, don't you think? But what's more awesome than that? If you talk to him again... Oh. Hi, I asked Hudson to clear some land and call a region clear. Yep, business expansion, you know. I'll probably have him head out soon. If you want to say anything to Hudson, better catch him before he leaves. Well, in order to get anything else out of him, we have to talk to Hudson. Hud's Hud's husband, of course. <laughs> yes, <laughs> taking a break. By the way, did you buy that house? I sure darn did. Impressive. You're just a pup. Uh, come again? Don't worry about it. Anyway, what? 
Looks like I gotta head out and leave this place soon. Why? I've been transferred. Transferred? Might have heard, but Bolson Construction is planning a big, t t planning to expand big time. Yeah, big expansion. Where will you go? Zora's domain is north of here. We're going north of that though. Area called the Akala region. Pretty far. Yep. Well, okay then. See you later, kid. No time like the present. I should be getting on my way. If you'd like, you should come to Akala region and say hello. Well, take care of yourself. Okay. See you, buddy. Such such sad but heartwarming music. <laughs> but he's gone now. From the ground up. And that's the new side quest for him. But we'll get into that much, much later. Hi! So the both of us sort of hit a personal milestone, huh? Time to kick back and get leisurely, baby. Though you look a bit judgmental for such a fine moment. You're looking at me like we should both keep working at it. Heh, <laughs> you don't even have to say it. Oh, why? Well, I just bought a house and it's totally empty and depressing. <laughs> oh, sure, that's you to a T. I see it in your eyes. Yep, I was just like you about a lifetime ago. So tell you what, let me help by taking care of furniture or the exterior or really anything for 5,000 rupees. Actually, no, scratch that. For you, I'll start at 100. Thank you, God. 5,000. Oh. Just cruise on by whenever you have the spending cash and we'll talk. I was not going to spend 5,000 rupees on what we're about to see. But if you continue to talk to him, build me something. We can start doing stuff. So gear displays. I want another weapon mount. Yep, this is why I grabbed a lot of extra money. So I can get these. And then he's going to start some cutscene stuff. Okie do, house I'm coming for you. Carson, we are on. Yo. And that's basically it. Practically perfect if I do say so myself. I'm a little jealous. And then, yeah, we have to wait till he sits down to talk again. But now we have two weapon mounts, so now I can store two weapons in here. Okay, gonna have him build another weapon mount. Okay. Take my money, and he's gonna do pretty much the same thing. Probably say something a little bit different, but I'm not gonna read it out. Read it out. And then they're going to do the same old crazy noises. Now we have three, but three is the maximum you can get for that weapon display. Now we can get a bow mount and shield mounts. Now I only get one bow mount. Actually, I think I'll get two. Because I want to show some other stuff that we can build in our house. I'm trying to skip this. It's a little bit of a time consumer, but you get your money worth. Oh, I don't want to wait for you to sit down. I want to show everyone what is happening. Let's see, installations. Nah, I'm just gonna leave the house empty for the most part. It looks really nice when it's all done, but we need money for that. I mean, it's pretty easy to get money, so I'll probably show you guys later. Alrighty. Didn't mean to talk to him, I was trying to run, trying to mash. So this is what a shield mount looks like. And we can display a shield. And this is a bow mount. So we can display the bow. Pretty cool, huh? Mm. 
Actually, I think I might just max it all up. Well, I can skip to the end. Alrighty, we're all done here waiting for them to just talk their way into, well, talk, what am I saying? Act their crazy old way to do this. But yes, we got all the mounts. This is the max you can do. Bow mounts, regular weapons, and shields. Um, but that's what it looks like. Pretty cool, huh? Um, you'll see why I unlocked all of those in a moment, but it's really good to have those because they work like weapon slots. Um, so to have three of each, that's like three whole other weapons. Like, I'm full of shields. I cannot get any more shields. So if I wanted to get another shield, I'd have to throw one away or something like that. And then I'm out of space for weapons too. I have bow space though, so probably didn't need to do so many bows, but it's fine. Now, time to go to where we said we were going last video. Got a little bit sidetracked here. Just before we go that way though, we're going to make one last stop to buy some arrows with the last bit of money that we have. There we go. So now we have a rather decent amount of arrows. 19. That's not really a great amount of arrows, but it's enough. Alrighty. Onward we continue. There's a that guy has a quest, but it's not really something I want to do just yet. It's pretty easy, but not just yet. We're going to the top of this mountain here. Well, not really mountain. I guess you can call it a mountain, but it's more like a hill. The top of the hill. Are we out yet? Yes. We're able to run now. Let's go. Go around this way. And turn around again. Oh, my horse. Oh, nope. I went the wrong way. I'm trying to go to the farm again where they could rip me off to kill deer. Five rupees for killing nearly all of them. Not even worth trying to do that minigame. Oh, well that's what happens when you keep slapping your horse. <laughs> I mean, we want to go fast, but not too fast. Now you probably saw a bunch of those la- uh... Whatchamacallit? What are the things card? Those. Those things. Um, lamp I guess you can call it. Some kind of lamp. But this is the Hey Tenno Ancient Tech Lab. And you might be wondering what the heck is that? Well, we'll find out in a second, won't we? There we go. I want to climb up here real quick to see what's on top. That door is cemented shut. Jeez. Can we look through this or something? Nope. Just, it's just there for decoration. Is this an actual door? Oh my, it is an actual door. There's nothing in here, though. Huh. Lame. Going all the way to the top, and there is a guardian. Okay, there's just a ladder randomly here. Okay. That's fine. Exploration stuff, I guess. That's the top. Got a bunch of guardian looking stuff here. Of course, that's our ancient tech that they're talking about. I wonder if there's a way to get all the way to the top. Okay, never mind. I'm done trying. Oh! Is this what I think it is? None? None came out? 
Well, you'll see what I'm talking about later. Anyways, enough sidetracking. Let's go inside this ancient tech lab and see what's going on here. Hello, this is the Hey Tenno Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? That's right. Director is in the back. Terribly busy person. That one, please try to keep it quiet. Hello, I imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. As for the number of books, well... Hmm? Is that... That thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? There's no mistaking it. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. If you could just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. Stasis. Ah. Uh, Magnesis. Yes, yes. Remote Bond and Cryonis. What else? Let's see. That's So that's it for runes, but um... Strange, it doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why they're missing. There must be some reason. Ah, where are my manners? I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Simon. You are Link, right? Lady Impa caught me up to speed. You see, we were told a young man holding a Sheikah slate will appear, and you must do all you can to help him. He will be the hope that awakens from the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. Director, listen, Miss Director, this is a real Sheikah straight slate. That's, oh, that's right, I haven't introduced our director. Miss Pura happens to be right over there. Yep, we can see her. As a Hey Tenno Ancient Tech Lab director, Miss Pura is the most is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Check it. What? I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. On that note, Link, you see the director may look like a young girl. Well, maybe it's not my place to be telling you those things. You should talk to Miss Pura herself. Well, yeah, don't spill the beans. Well, she is pretty little. Hey, are you surprised? The director of this laboratory is not Simon, it's me. Snappity, snappity snap. Anyway, Linky, do you remember your, any dreams from your time in the sl slumber of restoration? You don't look like you changed a bit in the last 100 years, but something must have happened all, in all that time. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you are still in one piece. Linky, what's with that look? You do still remember it, right? I don't remember. Willie? Well, I'm so shocked I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Even though, 100 years ago, I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Gap and fatally wounded you. Even though I was the one who put you safely into the Sunbear of Restoration. Despite all that, you still don't remember me? Dot dot dot. As expected. After a hundred years in slumber restoration, subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry, I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. Charming quirk, isn't it? Anywho, do you have any questions? Aren't you a child? How very rude. Hmm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose it's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. Truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Anyways, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are after a hundred years. Here to defeat Calamity Gammon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment. And to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda, that is if you got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Seek of Slate. And what do you say to that? Yes please. I knew you say that. Alright, first I need you to run an errand for me. What's with that look on your face? I didn't- you didn't think I'd fix your Seek of Slate for free, did you? I did. Post slumber restoration, subject is played by presumptuous tendencies. Noted. Please let me, let me explain what errand uh, entails. Blah. You know the unit furnace on the wall just outside of this laboratory? Could you please bring the blue frame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and use it to light our furnace. This sweet little guidance stone will start working once you do that. Blah, 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 blah. Runes, wonder. Okay, then I'm counting on you for a blue flame. So we got a new objective. 
locked mementos, which is truly part of the main quest. But basically, the blue flame she speaks of is way over here. That means we have to climb all the way back up without our horse. Oh, I ran out of stamina. Without our horse for one. Which is quite slow sometimes. At least we get to enjoy the view. There's some fish down there in that area. But let's grab our torch and begin doing this. It doesn't look like it's going to rain for a while, so let's get started. So these lamps here, boom. Uh, that's kind of what they're for. Now this blue flame will stay ignited forever. And actually I see something in the distance over there to the right. Let's go ahead and show that off real quick because I was trying to because they had a little patch up there. But if you cut this grass... Nothing yet? No? There we go. You get Hylian rice. So mostly used to make rice ball stuff. So it looks like it's kind of low chance to get it, but yeah, extremely low chance. Oh, there you go. Thank you. But yeah, yellow grass will give you some Hylian rice. Some green grass will also do it as well. But if you're looking for Hylian rice for free, that's how you get it. Oh, I got a fairy. Um, yeah, cutting grass gives you fairies too. Fly from your pouch and heal all your wounds the moment you lose your last heart. Easily mistaken for a firefly at first, but it glows in the daylight as well. Yes, cutting grass nets you some nice fairies. If you're fast enough to catch it, that is, and it ran away. I didn't notice it at first, but yeah, cutting grass. Wait, is it raining? How is it raining? Lame. Anyways, oh man. Why is it raining all of a sudden? Hmm. That kind of sucks. It doesn't say rains in the forecast. As you can plainly see. Okay, the rain is gone. Oh, that was annoying. Good thing it only rained for a little while. But... The main reason you light all those is in case it rains. So that you don't have to walk all the way back. Oh, that's where the inn is. That's the inn, guys. You sleep there to advance time and heal hearts. Anyways, let's continue on our journey to not get rained on again. So yeah, you can see how tedious this particular quest is, but lighting those will give you nice and easy time when coming back to get rained on. Do that, there we go. Just continue along our merry way. Um, please. He's looking at something. Probably the ancient tech lab. Don't rain on me now. I'm so close. Just an empty area down here? Hmm. I never really thought about what was down here. I mean, there's a few trees. 
that's about it. And there's a few trees off in the distance here. Well, for being in the distance, those must be some big trees. Unless they're actually that close. But yeah, that area is pretty cold, so we might not even be able to get there with our current outfit. Even though I have the warm doublet, there's some places that require more than just that to stay warm. But anyways, we've completed that little bit. Ancient Tech Lab is now set as a travel gate. Awesome. And when we talk to Perha, hey you, Blinky, thank you so much. Now we'll take a look over there. Guidance Stone must be starting to react. There's nothing mysterious about it. This is pure science. Sweet little Guidance Stone. You sure know how to make this old researcher's heart flutter. Well then, let's go ahead and restore Sika Slate runes for you. Give me a snap. Go on. No time to be shy about it. Nah. Oh, really? Has a tendency to give uncomfortable responses to questions. <laughs> well, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Oh, well, now we have to snap. Snap? That was pretty weak, but that's okay. All right. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Now we're going to get a real upgrade. Camera, Hyperule Compendium, and Album Missing Files Confirmed. Starting repair. So much data in one little drop. Finally, jeez. Download time too slow. And we got one more rune, which is the final rune. Camera. Instantly render a visible image to into a picture. And we get some free pictures. We'll we'll find out about these later. And the Hyrule Compendium with nothing in it. Which I will talk about very soon. Repair complete. And it's done. So is it all fixed up now? Let me see here. Which one is it? Camera, high will compendium, album. Yep, looks good. So I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with the camera, and don't forget to let me see it. Now you just use it like any old rune. Boom. And then we show her. How's the picture taking going? Did you get a cute pic of me with camera? Blah, blah, blah. Can't wait to see it. Let me see, let me see. You get to show her. Boom. My, who is this beautiful young creature? Oh, I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Hmm. It's not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there are also some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey, Linky, it dawns on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight. Which means there's a strong possibility that you accompanied her to all of the places where these pictures were taken. Alright, the lost memory thing could prove troublesome. But don't lose hope. That it just means these picker pictures could be the missing piece to help restore your lost memories. If my hunch is correct, I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Princess Zelda than I even do. Oh yeah, there's just one more thing I needed from you. You don't have to worry about this until after you see Impa. But I want you to bring me back some ancient materials. Bring them either to me or to Robbie at Akala Ancient Tech Lab. As if my joy weren't enough, if you bring us ancient materials, we will give you something good as a reward. Let's do this. Door closed behind us. So, something good. If you bring me some ancient materials, I'll power up your rooms. You'll need three ancient screws, seek a sensor, Shafts, remote bombs, cores for stasis, and that's it. Those are the only runes we can do it. Alright. We should be able to power up stuff. Let's go. Come on. Sheikah sensor is main, the main one. Yes. Snap. Yeah, yes, yes. Let's go. 
And now we're going to upgrade it. Let's go. Enhance and seek a sensor. Now the cool thing about this is the Sheikah Sensor Enhanced version is more than just a Shrine Finder. Whew. This helps for a lot of things. We got the Sheikah Sensor Plus, searching for compendium items. If your sensor has been augmented to search for things other than shrines, it will re react when you are close to the thing you have set to look for. Head in the direction the reaction is strongest and you should be able to find what you're looking for. Awesome. Pretty easy. Yahoo! My little guide and strong did the trick, blah blah blah. Shika Sensor Plus, I really want to see it. If you don't mind, showing them, blah blah blah. Yeah, I'll show them later. But the album, here we are. All these images cool. That's the picture we took of Pura. This is the Hyrule Compendium, which is basically like an encyclopedia, but for everything in the Zelda world. So we have all types of things. Treasure, equipment, um, materials, monsters, and creatures. So as you can see, there's nothing here. We can't do anything. Um, so why did I upgrade the Sheikah sensor? Um, well, let's go ahead and show you guys a little something here. If we take a picture of something, for example, this apple, it adds it to the Hyrule Compendium. And say you're looking for a specific item, you can set it to target with the sensor and it'll find your apples for you. So if you're searching really hard for a specific item that isn't easy to find, for example, apples, just head into direction like the annoying thing tells you with the shrine. Here we go, it's telling me to go this way. Down here, here's more apples, boom. See, look at how easy that was. I didn't even have to try to find apples. And then once you're done collecting all of it, it should pretty much find a new, it'll say finding new objective. Oh, let's get that last one. See, finding new objective. Oh wow, just jump off the tree, will you? Oh wow. There you go, finding new objective. Now it'll point us in the area where is the area that has the most apples, which is this way. Oh, it's gone. There's still more? Jeez. I thought I collected all of these. And I'm just jumping all over the place. Oh my god. Oh, not that. This. There you go. Okay, now it'll take us somewhere else. Just trying to show this Seeker Sensor Plus off. It's really useful for items that are harder to find. Now with apples, you can find them pretty much everywhere. So it's like useless to use for apples. But now, once since all these apples are gone, it'll show me the next place that has apples. So yep, that's pretty much it. If you want to stop targeting that, then just hit minus Sheikah Sensor all for it. If you want to have it set to a shrine, you can have it set to a shrine as well. Which I have them set to a shrine. So I can know where I'm going. Anyways. Let's get our horse over here. Um, 
Actually, let me check something. What do I have? She said shafts and cores. I only, I know I don't have any cores at all. Let's see. So I only have one ancient shaft, so I can't upgrade my bombs. And I can't upgrade stasis. So when you do have those, you can come back. And when she said Robbie, a Kala region is way up here. So it'll be some time before we actually get there. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, now we're going to go back to Impa because we've completed this quest. Got to go back to Kakariko Village, which we can actually just teleport there, to be honest. And if we wanted to go back to get our horse, we just teleport to the stable and then get our horse back. But I think in the next video, we're going to do some compendium stuff just to show that off. So... I will see you guys in the next video, of course, <laughs> which won't be, we'll, we'll continue the story soon enough, but we want to play with our new toy. <laughs> um, I got some cool stuff to show. Either way, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked watching, of course, hit that like button. Comment below if you have any suggestions or want to see anything that I you want me to show off or something like that. You know, um, lastly is to subscribe, have videos coming out pretty much daily. That's what YouTube wants too, so good thing I, I've already decided on daily thing instead of like a weird other schedule. But I mean, we got all kinds of games, different stuff um, like that. Games, Switch, Wii U, DS, you know, all that, all that noise stuff. So yeah, hit that subscribe. And we can we can get this rolling. But yeah, this is the cheesy cat. Now we'll see you in the next video.